chicken marsala. Oh, Starting with the chicken. I'm using chicken tenders. We dredge these, seasoned them amply in a little uh, flour and salt and pepper. And we just gave them, we took them to about, let's say, 150. Par cooked them right to the edge, but not because we're going to submerge it in that beautiful marsala sauce in a minute. But turn this up a little bit, and now we can start building some more flavors. And we're going to start with the beautiful shallot, three tablespoons of butter, and some dried porcini mushrooms. Mm. So these are going to kind of rehydrate in there and add the fresh cremini mushrooms, right? We're going to let that chill for a minute, which I have right here. No garlic yet, a couple tablespoons of butter, no wine yet. And what we're going to do is going to cook this down till when it looks just, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. You gotta be very patient with your mushrooms, with the caramelization of your shallot. This is another secret ingredient. I know Jeffrey used this in some dishes, powdered unflavored gelatin. I've been using it a lot in stews, chilies, meatloaf. All right, now I'm gonna add my garlic, because it's so tender. Couple cloves, and this is marsala. And about a cup of that. I mean, shallots, oh. mushrooms, and butter and garlic, come on. Good, now once you see it start to bubble up, we can add our gelatin and a little bit of chicken stock, and it's just gonna make it so silky without having to add too much butter. We'll season it up, a little salt and pepper. It's gonna finish cooking right in here, low simmer. Just shake it a little bit. Our fresh parsley, which is a must, and a little, little hit of fresh lemon juice. And I think we got ourselves a perfect meal. Gold star.